the Angels made a run last year, and you were part of it when you were able to come back. Um, how much did you feed off just just the last three, four weeks of the season and getting a taste as to what you could be for the Angels, what this team overcame, and certainly what could be out there now with this new roster? Yeah, well, I mean, we got to see some, you know, some guys step in and, and, and show what they can do. You know, Parker Bridwell had a great year last year, and he was a guy who got an opportunity. Um, some guys stepped in and, and had and had good performances, and now they're back this year, and we kind of know, you know, what we're getting. We re-signed Justin and um, added Kinsler, who, you know, I've played against for a number of years now, and, you know, that's one of the biggest competitors I've ever played against. Um, and then you got guys like Otani, and then, you know, we got some, some guys that have been around, you know, obviously guys that speak for themselves, Cole Calhoun, uh, Mike Trout. What have you learned about Garrett Richards um, from three years back to who you are today in terms of baseball perspective and life perspective? You know, I've had some things happen that I've had to overcome, but, uh, you know, I think you come out better at the end of all those things. Um, you know, I've learned so much being able just to kind of take a step back and watch the game um, versus, you know, in the middle of the season where you got your routine going and you maybe aren't able to watch as close as you would if you weren't playing. You know, I could, I was literally a spectator, so I could watch little things that I may not have picked up on before. and. Um, you know, I've thought about how I want to throw a baseball and, you know, while the game's going on, I'm constantly right there in the count thinking, okay, if, I, if this were me, this is what I would throw or, wow, I really noticed that guy can't hit this pitch or, you know, for whatever reason, I picked up on a lot of little things that I may have overlooked in the past. I tried to be a student of the game um, and I think I'm better for it now. You know, I have a better idea of how I want to throw the baseball and, and kind of how I want to attack guys. We're going back uh, just to the time I've been here it's from Washburn and then Lackey and then Cologne and then you have Weave and leading to the new ace. Are you comfortable by being called the new ace? Does that, does that change anything for you? For me, I'm one guy in a, in a rotation of five. If I can give us a chance to win one day and then pass it along to the next guy, I feel like that's what we feed off of. You know, I feel like we're constantly pushing each other. I think it's more of a setting a tone, you know, challenging each other, you know, com having a competition within a competition. And I feel like that's the kind of group we have, feed off of each other, and we're always there to obviously talk baseball with each other. It's just a, a tight-knit group, and um, we're all really, really excited about getting it going.